my Sunday's way. I am my Sunday if you are new around here. And if you're returning, Savvy, thank you, darling, for coming back. So, for today's video, <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Before we get into today's video, I played a few clips of me DIYing my hair. Um, I wanted to go for like, actually, I don't even know what I wanted to go for. Initially, I thought I wanted like a brown, so I thought, okay, I need to use a lighter shade because my hair is like, is dark, so it needs a light shade in order to be brown. But now that I have the brown, I wish I had gone like lighter so that it's more visible. Yeah, so anyway, um, I don't know if it's a DIY fail or not. I think it's a half fail, half success. But anyway, let's just get into the video. Let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I wanted to kind of share a little bit on what's been happening in my world. Um, a little bit of the journey that I've been on with God as the year has started. Um, and yeah, so I recently... Um, was on a call with a friend i had messaged her and i was like hey i'm feeling um a bit a bit down i'm feeling a bit um yeah, discouraged about something so can you please pray for me um and so i expected her to kind of just you know pray where she was uh but the friend called and she was like hey do you have a minute let's pray together friends you, you, listen the kind of friends you keep so anyway <laughs> so anyway um shout out to linda <laughs> to my girl linda um so anyway so i had a um a call with this friend and um as as i was sharing my heart and and what i was feeling um she kind of was like you know what mess i'm feeling like the issue is really how you see god in this situation and how you see god in this season of your life you know um and then just talking to her and um yeah i think the end of our conversation i really felt like the title of this video was what was the issue in my life the issue was that i was seeing god as my earthly father and um and so with my earthly father he was many great things and the promise keeper was not one of them um, he would promise to do certain things and um, he would never do them. And so at the end of every promise, I had to figure out a way to make things work, you know. So with every promise he made, at the end of it, I was left with nothing and I was left having to figure out a way forward. And so I think in many ways, that's how I saw God. You know, I saw God as, okay, God is a promise maker um, and he he makes all these promises his word is full of promises um and even to us as individuals you know in our secret places he makes promises to us but it was so hard to see for me to see god as a promise keeper and uh it's really been hard for me to see god as a father who sees things through as a father who at the end of his promises actually does what he has promised and so this was a, a moment where i felt like god had promised something um and uh i but i also wanted it to work out in a specific way and when it wasn't working out for what i thought was my good my default was to then say Kanene, he's he's not a promise keeper at the end of this i'm gonna i have to figure it out myself anyway um and and so i've been really on a journey of really unpacking the truth that God is not my earthly father. That in the places where my earthly father has failed me, in the places where he didn't come through for me, that is not a reflection on who God is. And you know, as Christians, especially if you've been Christians for a long time, you go through so many healing moments, you know. Um, and so father wounds is something that early on on your Christian walk is something that um, hopefully in churches they, they go through. For me, I've never, I, I always feel like, okay, I've dealt with it, I've given it to God, and then something happens, a trigger happens, and it takes me right back to that place of being a little girl, waiting on the promises from my earthly father, and being disappointed, and figure, and quickly scrambling and figuring out things on my own. And so this was one of those moments again, where I felt like, 
father wounds ah been there done that you know 2006 went through the camp got the t-shirt got the book i'm good with father wounds i know who my father is i know that god is not nothing like my earthly father and then something happens real life happens and my first reaction is to put god in the very same box that i would put my earthly father you know and subconsciously that's what i i had been doing and so that conversation with my friend it really it really triggered something in me that made me go back and and look at how do i see god right now when things when promises are not fulfilled how do i see god do i still view him as a promise keeper do i still view him as a good father and so i think with this video i really just wanted to hopefully um if there's anybody watching who kind of feels like they've had a journey with their earthly father where they didn't always get the things that they wanted from their father and not just materialistic things you know um that too but also more things with more substance if you feel like you know in a lot of places god becomes your earthly father you know god feels like your earthly father you know um yeah this is just to encourage you that god is not our earthly father god does not put others before me you know god does not promise and not fulfill um god does not forget about me you know because those are the things that i associated with my earthly father where i felt like he always put others before me he forgot about me he you know and so i constantly have to remind myself that no but that that is just a man you know this this is god this is the creator of the heaven and the earth this is the same creator is the same person who calls me little old me his his daughter his son his beloved you know and i really hope that um if you are listening to this it really allows you to even work through your own um your own baggage or your own emotions when it comes to your association of god and your, and your earthly father yeah that it, it also just helps you begin to understand the the triggers that make you um default back to to seeing god the same way that you would see your earthly father um but uh but yeah that is that is today's video i wanted to kind of do a sit down because i feel like the videos that i've been doing have been kind of all over the place with like my house with traveling um so i was like okay i, I cannot forget that you know god and um emotional connection and you know sharing my work with god is also a part of this of this channel now um so yeah that is today's video i hope that you've enjoyed it um <laughs> i wanted to say never mind it's fine never mind never mind um but yeah that is it from me for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed it um i hope that it it also begins to you know work to what am i saying it also begins a work in your own heart or it begins a conversation between you and and your friends between you and god um but yeah from me Hantes, it is i'm getting distracted by my by my hair because i'm just trying to see if there's a difference if it's visible that i dyed this thing <laughs> but from me Sunday, you guys it's goodbye and god bless until next time